Podcast Total Sports, brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Good evening, all, and welcome to Sports on this Labor Day Friday. I'm Charles Fisher. We are on the waters here at Awaki, but all the excitement on the waters happening over there in South Andrews, and that's where we find the total package, Julian Gibson. Three regattas taking place this weekend. Barry Tari Exuma, Long Island, and South Andrews. Boy, it doesn't get any better than this. We go to Long Island uh, today through Sunday. Uh, Barry Tari starts tomorrow through Monday. And of course, Congo Town starts today through Monday as well. And I am not able to, as minister, to go to all these uh, regattas and homecomings because, of course, it, it takes so much to, to, to make appearances in different islands, but I'd be very, very confident that the representation from my ministry will make these regatta know that we are with them, we support them, and we expect nothing less than the best. Now the minister with responsibility for sloop sailing in the country, Captain Virginius Alfred Cornelius Gray, says that after this weekend, things will even pick up more for sloop sailing in the country. Long Island was first after or during Labor Day weekend. And then, of course, we have the Independent Regatta in North Andros. And then after that, we have the August Regattas, Atlins, uh, Cat Island, and I think one or two others, Black Point. They're all over the place in August. And then October, we have the North Luther Regatta. And, of course, uh, that rounds off uh, the year 2014. In Congo Town, South Andrews, reporting for ZNS Total Sports, I am Julian Gibson. This weekend also big for volleyball, the Defend Your Spike tournament going on at the Kendall G.L. Isaacs Gymnasium. President of the Bahamas Volleyball Federation, Jomo Smith, looking for some kind of respect, not only track and field is doing things in this country. Track and field is not the only sport that we have in the Bahamas that, 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 that is excelling. Um, the men won a silver, a, a silver medal at the um, IAAF World a relays, our man won a, a bronze medal in Puerto Rico. But every time we do something, track is doing something so we get overshadowed. But, but, but we want people to know that volleyball is, the, the, I think, the number one team sport over the past three years in the Bahamas. There is no other team sport. We have qualified for the CAC Games in November. We haven't had a qualification of a team sport since softball did it, I think, in the 80s. So we are on our way and we are moving well. We just want corporate Bahamas to know that support volleyball like Scotiabank. <laughs> and you will see at the end of the day that we are there doing what we ought to do to help curve these problems happening in the Bahamas. The Urban Renewal Basketball Tournament all set to tip off at the end of this month. Street legends Wilton Russell is in charge and he describes the format. Each community will take on um, each other <coughs> in the best of five game series. Each, each team will play five games. The team that has the best record out of the five games will move on, of course, to the, uh, the Eastern or the Conference Playoff and Championship. Once we've gotten those um, teams to, to, to advance to the Playoffs and Championship, there'll be one winner from each community or each district. One winner from each district to represent that particular community itself. So, the team, the overall champion from the East, will take on the overall champion from the West. The world champion from the north will take on the world champion from the, from the south, and that's how we have our final four. And the final four, seeing my, it's the same lineup again. We will have one overall champion for the street legends, New Providence, of course, crowned. And that's going to be my time for sports on a Friday on this Labor Day. I'm Charles Fisher. Have a safe weekend. <laughs>